Hi, and welcome to Material Physics 7. Today we're going to be looking at something called mechanical advantage. And we're going to be doing this in a turning context, but we're going to start in just a more linear context. So, I always thought that levers were magic. I couldn't really understand them, because if I apply a force at one end of a lever, I can make a much greater force happen at the other end of the lever. But that seemed to sort of not work. How am I getting more force? How am I generating extra force just by making it from further away? That doesn't seem right. That seems like there should be some conservation law that would stop me. It's rare the universe lets you get something for nothing. And that's sort of always, always what levers struck me at. Turns out you're not. There's something else going on that's a little bit difficult to spot. If you apply a force here on a lever, or apply a force here on a lever, you might think you're doing the same thing, because you're just applying a force and letting the lever tilt up to the same place. But you're not, because work done is force times distance. So if you apply the force over a longer length, you'll do more work. And therefore, because the work part is the bit that has to be constant, if you're applying then a force to be generated here and the distance goes down, the force will have to go up so that the work will remain the same. So that's how a lever multiplies force, because it does a lot of work over a big difference, distance here, which then when applied to a small distance at the end of the lever means the force must be amplified. So it turns out it is a conservation law, but it's an energy conservation law, not a force conservation law. So this is called mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is whenever we can use something changing, a speed or a distance, to allow us to get the thing that we want. And we use this all the time when things are turning. This, as I'm sure you've guessed from my fabulous diagram, is the pedals on a bicycle and the back wheel. And here's the chain, which we all know goes around the edge of the wheel, not to the middle, just as I've drawn it. So what happens on a bicycle? Well, you apply a big force here onto the pedals. And that is then turned into a much smaller force around the bicycle. But crucially, the speed here is very small and the speed here is very big. And because power is force times velocity, the power, the energy per second, remains constant. But it allows us to do a few really useful things. Firstly, we don't want the bicycle pedals to have to go around really, really fast. Our legs can't pump that quickly. So it allows us to turn quite a slow movement into a very big movement on the wheel. Now let's start thinking about gear ratios. When you're in a low gear, what you want is a slower movement here to translate into a slower movement here. But as you get faster and faster, you can actually change the mechanical advantage. And by changing the size of the gears such that the force here pr produces an even bigger speed here. But what we want is for you to be pedaling at roughly the same speed regardless. But just by changing the gear ratios and by going from a small wheel to a big wheel, we can change the ratio of the force and the velocity and therefore a bicycle actually works. Because if you think about it, if you had to pedal at the same speed as the back wheel was going around, if it was just a one-to-one -one ratio, it would never work. You'd never get anywhere because you could only move as fast as your legs could pump you. But by using gears and using this mechanical advantage, we can go much faster. Now, if we were going to use the language of turning physics of angular momentum, we could, instead of, say, power is force times velocity, we can say um, power is torque times angular momentum. It's exactly the same thing. Big torque here, small torque here. Small angular, angular velocity here, big angular velocity here. So you could equally write it as power is torque times angular velocity instead. It gives you exactly the same result. There's a question underneath. I'll see you later in the week.